let's make some money off of our baby. And now the baby's being sold everywhere. That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, basically, honestly, it's it's basically Monster Hunter with Final Fantasy elements. Oh. And Final oh. Fantasy job classes. So, like you said, that, it is a ripoff. Uh, that, that's yeah, it's okay. a ripoff. It's a beautiful hate... ripoff, but it's a ripoff. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear what you say, dude. I said I hate Monster. Well, I, I shouldn't say I hate Monster Hunter. I try to get into it, and I can never really, you know, it just doesn't jive with me. Well, I like Monster Hunter, but I'm not big into Monster Hunter the way some of my other friends are. So I like this game because it has a nice little blend of both. The only uh. issue I have with this game is that I'm used to leveling up, and so far I can't level up, and I'm not used to that. So you your upgrade job. your equipment, you upgrade oh. your equipment, and you learn abilities. That's ah. how you get stronger. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Th that doesn't sound like a Final Fantasy I'd want to play. Well, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's where my mixed feelings kick in. But I, I do like the job classes so far. I'm enjoying myself. Is, I heard they made the Blue Mage better. Like so That's what I've heard from other people. I haven't unlocked them yet. I've only played five hours. Well, for so. years, you had to get attacked by an attack in order for the blue mage to learn it, which I always thought was kind of stupid. I'm like, can't you just watch the enemy do the attack to somebody else? And you figure it's I stupid. think, I mean, honestly, the common sense would be as long as you're within realm of the attack, whether it is at you or at somebody else, you should learn it. Well, yeah, I mean, if I see someone else use it, I mean, you know, like, why do I have to get hit by the 99 needles? You know, yeah, that, that's, I always find that stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah, they kind of slightly improved it. I think it was in, was it in Final Fantasy IX where you could extract it from the enemies? You don't have to uh, use it only, you could just lock on to them and extract it? Yeah. Uh, I think that was 8. Like, oh, that was 8? Magic in 8. I mean, that was like, like, they didn't have traditional classes in 8. Like, like you true. could... If you knew how to extract magic in that game, like you, you would break the game because, like, early on, you'd have the most powerful magic, and no one could stop you. Well, have you picked it up, Terrell? Final Fantasy Explorers? No, I haven't. Do you plan on picking it up? Mm, I wasn't that interested personally. <laughs> really? Well, I would oh, recommend it. I would not, but I do enjoy the game. Yeah, it's um, the more cool, the more I like okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Back up. Uh, let me just stop you right there. I must. <laughs> And I must inquire as to how you cannot recommend it, but you love it. <laughs> Dude, don't you have stuff that you, isn't? Let me put it this way: You ever seen a TV show that you know is kind of sort of mediocre, but for whatever reason it appeals to you specifically, so you enjoy playing it? I mean, watching the movie, but you're not sure if you should tell anybody to watch it as well. It's kind of yeah. like that. So it's in other words, like, it's kind of like, like it's, it's kind of like a Sony fanboy that plays Order 1886. No, no, I, 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 no, 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 it's not, Final Fantasy Explorer is not complete trash. It's actually a good game. Hey, I just hey, can't call on. it a great game. You just said it. it's like, it's like a TV show or movie that you know is mediocre, but it appeals to you specifically. So if someone, like a Sony fanboy, Okay, let me put it this way. When order, I was, okay, like, I love Tenshi Muyo. I don't think I? Tenshi Muyo is the greatest anime series ever. But to me, I freaking love it. So I won't say mediocre. So I said again? I said, yeah, I completely understand that that uh, metaphor. Yeah, it's it's but not it's, like, it was it's not good or bad. It's okay, but to you, it's the greatest. But you know, common sense wise, it's not the greatest. To everybody else. But, I mean, yeah. but you know, but it, it may not be the most popular or the greatest to everyone else. But I can say one thing about Tinti Muya. It was a very mature anime. Like, and I'm not talking about mature in, t in terms of content. I mean, mature in terms of maturity. Oh, yeah, like, it's a fan service. <laughs> no. I, I can't no. If, follow the storyline. There's actually a lot to tension more than people realize. Oh. Like, at oh. first, it seems like a harem anime with fan service. It's a lot more than that. I see, I've, only seen, really I've only seen. I've only seen the OVA. So. Like, no, like, no, like Tenshi Muya has like a lot of emotion, a lot. Like, they explain why certain people did certain things, why this person ran away, with the whole reason behind Tenchi's ability, like, the things behind the goddesses. The, the, let me, okay, Tenchi Moyo actually spans one, two, three, four, 
five, five series. The Tenchi Mario Tenchi, Tenchi TV does not exist. Do not watch it. It is pure and utter trash. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, like ten, especially Tenchi in. Well, Tenchi TV you could kind of watch, I guess, but do not watch Tenchi. What's the, What's that one in Tokyo? Tenchi in Tokyo is garbage. Tenchi, yeah, Tenchi in Tokyo is garbage. Now the, it's the, the only other garbage. The only thing that I found kind of weird about Tenchi was like, okay, you've got all these relatively high. Okay, okay, two of them are your aunt. So okay, I can understand. But you've got all these women that aren't related to you uh, chasing you down, and you're like, no, I can't do it. I'm like, look, just admit it, Tenchi. You don't like women. Well, I will say this. You're Have you gotten all the way to the end of the series? Hey. Have you gotten all the way to the end of the series, Matt? Um, well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I, I tried to read the manga, but, like, I haven't gotten... The manga the is the way manga. better than the anime. Yeah, I haven't gotten all the way to the end, uh, end of the manga. I've gotten to the end of quite a few of the, of the, uh, of the uh, 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 TV series of the animes, but they don't really have a resolution, so I don't know, like, you know... Have I you, so you've seen Ryoki. So you've seen Tenshi more than Ryoki then? Well, that's the only one yeah. I've seen. That's, no, that's I, the last I, one. No, I've, no, I've seen all of them. I really have. And I loved it. Okay, because the thing is, it's very convoluted. If you have not seen it all, you don't understand it. Like, the okay. manga only covers a portion of it. You gotta watch GXP. You gotta watch... Oh, yeah, you gotta watch the, um, the. You gotta see the Rosario Wars with his little brother. He has well, a half-brother, I mean, and he's a beast. Well, that's like, the thing. It's I, like, I like the family aspect of Tenchi. Like, I like the fact that his grandpa, who like looks like an old man, you find out like because he's a pure. I forgot the name of that species. Dry. Like, yeah, he's he's actually like a really really young looking dude, and he and the two girls who come down there and are chasing him down. Those are his aunts, which is kind of creepy. But they're like, I want to marry my, my my nephew. I'm like, ew. <laughs> no, no, it's actually it's actually um no, it's actually brother. Yeah, bro- he's half he's half brother to them. Yeah, but that's still really that's that's a little. Creepy. I don't know. It's so creepy to me. I'm just it's my OCD kicking in. Continue. That's a that's a little creepy to me. I'm just saying. But um, <laughs> and that's partially what that's probably why you ran away. Well, okay. I mean, that's probably right. I mean, but I mean, and that's tension. why you have that's why you hooked up with a with a with a chick and bitter. Well, and, well, and by the way, she, by the way, she's not human. Well, you know what? Let, let, me, let me ask you Tenchi, this Tenchi is not fully human. He's actually multiple races. Well, well I know he's half Jirai. Uh, well, no, no it's, it's more like a third Jirai. Multiple well, races, like Tiger Woods. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna you bring see, that this up. the fact we're having this conversation has proved there's a lot more to the story than people realize. <laughs> but, but you know what? Let me, let me ask you guys all a question now. Name an anime that you think, since you did bring this up, that's, that's a great point, and we're going to make this like the anime podcast, I guess, whatever. But name an anime that you have watched and you love, but you, like, and whatever, whatever reason. And you don't think it actually appeals to a lot of people? That's and tough I, one. I have one, that, but no, that, I, I'd be surprised if anyone knew what it was. Well, go, um, yeah, go ahead. It, it's, Try relative, it. it's relatively, it's relatively recent, probably within the last two or three years. It's called uh, okay. My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. Oh my God, is that the one? Is that the one with the um, menus? I think I've heard of it, but I haven't seen the it. The Japanese name, I think most people call it, is Origaru. I've heard the English title. I've never seen it though. It, it didn't interest me, but it's, I've heard it's, of it. It's a very different. Table. Is that the one where the menus pop up while he's talking to the girls and stuff? No. No, that, Chef, I, oh, I know okay. the one you're talking about. I I hadn't seen that one either, but I, I think it's in like one episode. But no, I know which one you're talking about. No, I say I recognize that, 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 but that's not the same show. Yeah. It, it, it's like it when you talk about Chef, like it's like something happens. Whenever like he makes a, a like a wrong choice, and but yeah, he gets like a little menu that pops up, and it's like what the hell? It's like some kind of alternate reality. Yeah, it's, it's, as if the real world is like a dating sim or some shit. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Which which if you think about it, it really is a cool concept for you know a, a anime show. And that's one of the reasons why I love anime because they do not let anything hold them back. They, granted, there's a lot of fail. They come up with a lot of cool, interesting concepts that a lot of people are like, 
I never thought of. I never had, like. Oh, okay. I'm with that. What about you, uh, anime? What about your show? You got one? Uh, I got one off here. I'll tell you guys in a little bit. Go ahead. And, and do not say Black Bible. <laughs> no, it's not hentai. Oh, you're talking to him. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, oh, shots fired. Come on now. Well, see, I don't like... Some people, like, when they think of anime, like, they think of, like, oh, it's your typical uh, someone got to save the world, but that's sometimes not the case. Sometimes some of these animes, like, like post-apocalyptic is pretty good, but a lot of people probably don't know what the show is about. Uh, Casher and Sins. This is one of my uh, top, like, ten. Oh, that's on, my, that's on my to-watch list. I haven't watched it yet. It is very good. I don't well, if I can make a little side note, Cage, you were recently bitching about how people were all over One Piece, and you mentioned some other anime that you think is way better. I'm not feeling oh. One Piece. I'll, I'll, I'll barely watch two episodes. Oh, that's that's like my favorite series. Detective, Detective Conan is much better? No, wait, you talking about the anime? Because you're a liar. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Okay, all right. The Let these two duel it out. <laughs> I, I say that because the anime is like ninety percent filler, so I don't understand how the anime could be better. Maybe the manga, but not the anime. The anime is trash. The manga. <laughs> the manga. I'm not. I'm not far enough with Detective Conan to really make that argument, but I don't think. I, I don't see how it's better. Because it, because if I re, if I recall right, a lot of. Detective Conan's manga is purely like a lot of one-off stories that have very small steps towards the overarching plotline. Which and anime, never, and the anime is even worse. Back. <laughs> Say what? He'll never get his adult form back because it's like why can't? <laughs> yeah, it's it's, 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 it's it it kind of suffers from like <laughs> kind of like Pokemon syndrome in that sense. Like there's no. It doesn't feel like there's any real progression going on. But at least Pokemon, you occasionally get a really awesome Pokemon battle with Detective Conan. It's like this little so this little big head child is never gonna get his adult. Hey, big, big <laughs> head. Well, I mean, really, because the appeal of Detective Conan is just all the mysteries and shit. So like, I, I, it's it's one of those shows I understand why people like it, but I'd be surprised if anyone said it was like the greatest thing of all time. Well, I, I shouldn't talk because I'm a sucker for Lupin the Third, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Lupin's not that much different. Yeah, Lup- yeah, but Lupin's got Fujiko, so I can. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I say Conan because that's like the only like very very long anime that's like got, uh, pretty much uh, gone to my attention for so long. It's it's got Fujiko, Goemon, Zenigata. Uh, I forgot yeah, the police always chasing them down. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they, right, well, Lupin the you, Third is, uh, is awesome. What about you and your anime? You don't think appeals to the masses, but you love the hell out of it. I got an evil one for y'all. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Red Fox. Um, okay. Uh, the anime that I love that I know other people wouldn't like at all is um, an anime called um, Vandred, long time ago. It came oh, out- I love Vandred. I have the whole series. The first, yeah. second stage, and the movie. I love, I love Vandred, and Damn I like the main... Big-ass fanboy? Go ahead. I love- <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, Red. Explain the premise for him. I love Vandred because it has a lot of interesting, humorous situations that the main character gets into because, essentially, like, it's set in a far-flung future where, like, this character was on this... Uh, he, he's the passenger of this colonist ship that split the sexes, male and female, on these two different planets. So, like, they're all... They all think that the other is a monster, so they're like... This person is a monster. This person is a monster, and you know the, the, the women eat men's livers, and the men are just brutish uh, SOBs, and so they wind up creating this mixed ship uh, that basically has this uh, this old technology core, and they go on adventures and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I always liked it, um, but I don't think it would be for everybody. All right. Bam. 
And Shep, go. Oh, he has it on me. Shep, can you hear us? Shep, no, you dirty I'm... bastard. <laughs> Taking care of the baby. <laughs> I right, am well, here. Oh, by the way, this is G4 Classified. I have a baby son. So, yeah, we're live. Great. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Real Doc, life. you right. bastard. I see what you did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we been live for like twenty minutes, just so you know. Yeah, uh, I noticed uh, it when I saw it. Right on my yeah. phone, I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was hoping you guys would not notice. Um, but <laughs> let me go ahead and introduce my panel of guests out there to all the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> First up, from my left to right, we got K Tanime. Uh, what's going on, you two, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, one on the K Tanime, currently playing Paper Mario. Keep calm, game on. <laughs> All right, next up we got Mr. Red Fox. Um, this is Mr. Red Fox. I'm currently playing Skyrim on my PC, so. <laughs> Boo. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we got a very special guest here. Glad to have him on the show. I'm glad you can make it. The Insane Game Freak. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? The Insane Game Freak, and uh, let's just get into it. And last but not least, we got the good bastard. I mean, Shepard. <laughs> God. Hey, um, Doc, you know you're going to die like twice, right? In Splatoon? Yeah, maybe, but I'm going to kill you like 20 times, so it's okay. No, no. Um, you, you're, you're pissed off the wrong Shepard, son. But yeah, it's a good Shepard. What's going on, y'all? This is be interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, even though that introduction wasn't really necessary, being that we were live for like 20 minutes or so, um, we'll continue on the conversation, which is about anime, which I believe most of my panelists here are in some way, shape, or fashion horribly obsessed about and complete fanboys. I mean, it's in my name. I mean, go figure, right? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I mean, well, well, that doesn't really mean anything. I mean, I've seen women online that have screen names like, you know, you know. Sexy princess, they look like Hugos. I mean, come on. They're trying to live out of fantasy. Why would you take that away from them? <laughs> look, I'm just simply saying you can't judge a book by the cover. True. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I mean so I understand this in your name, but yeah, truly, for the viewers out there, he's definitely into anime. All types of anime. Some I won't even care to mention here. Um, <laughs> But moving on, um, I will mention. Uh, well, Shep, did you mention yours? Shep, don't do this. To Wait, me. which one? <laughs> Say it again. Your Say anime that, that you feel that you know, of course, you love it, but the masses may not care for it. Well, I mean, I know some people care for it because obviously it, it lasted forever. But for me, Tenchi Moyo, there's a lot more meat to the story than people realize. They just think it's a sci-fi fantasy harem. It's more than just a harem anime. If you follow up on the series, you'll be surprised how much is really going on. Well, I mean, Tenchi just recently had that, what was it, Tenchi Eye shit that was going on for the last few years, which were all these, like, three-minute episodes that lasted for, like, 50-something episodes. I mean, Tenchi still has its popularity. Well, actually, thank you. I did not know that. You just educated me. Oh, really? I, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. What? I've been following his little brother. His, his little brother had the spin-off series. I've been watching you know, that. You know the thing I like about Tenchi? Even though I know you just said it's not just a uh, a fantasy uh, space opera harem ripoff, I like how parts of it are very much reminiscent of Star Wars, but not in a... Like, it's like you can tell these people are fans of Star Wars, but not to the point where they're, like, dumbing it down. You know what I mean? Yep, yeah, that is true. And a lot of people overlook that. All right, well. Because you see the different you see the dip, different applications of the drawing ability. Yeah, Good at He has a lightsaber. It's, it's cool, too. <laughs> well, I have one I'm pretty sure everyone here has probably heard about. X is two, but... Um, one that I, that I both love equally, but this one's probably a lot less mainstream. But Outlaw Star. Oh yes. Oh, um, yeah. I have the series. I love it. It was only I think about twenty six episodes, but oh man. Most go, most old yeah. school anime fans love that series. I mean, but everything yeah, about it. Yeah, I like it. 
I have it. I have I have the VHS and the DVD. I mean, everything about that series, man, was great except the fact that it didn't continue. <laughs> like. I mean, it was either that or they put money in the Cowboy Bebop, and I personally would have preferred Outlaw Star over Cowboy Bebop. And another mention I like to um, make, of course, is Yu Yu Hakusho. Mm. I love that. I never got deep into that show. What about Ronin and Warriors? Once you, Ronin, like Ronin Warriors, oh yeah. <laughs> but I would say this. One thing I got tired of in Ronin Warriors is that they kept saying the same shit over and over when it came to like you know, powering up their, their powers. I mean, I know I know we're used to it when it comes to any type of anime, manga, whatever, but in that show, it's just way, way out. It's like, okay, I'm really tired to see the same shit, the same ending. It, it, it just, it got to a point where it's yeah, like... Yeah, no, I agree. It, it's, it's, it's outdated now. Like, back then, it was awesome. Like, I bet you now, if I watch it as an adult, I'd probably be annoyed half the series. And you're like, power it the so fire. I'm like, okay, stop saying it. We know what it yeah, is. Yeah, it was like, it was cool the first time, but now it's like, all right, dude. Come that's on, move along, move along. That's, that's just typical uh, Super Sentai uh, anime. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It's totally par for the court. So, so it's, 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 all that stuff is, you can just skip. But after like three episodes, just skip. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Just skip." Because the same thing repeat over and over. Stock footage. All right, I will now ask another anime-related question. Which anime pissed you out the most? And I won't even ask as to a specific reason, like why it pissed you out the most, but just which one pissed you out the most. I'm not gonna say uh, ask about any aspect. Just which one just made you want to stop watching it, but. It was really good, probably, but it just it, it left a bad taste in your mouth, so to speak. I don't have any one that fits that. I don't have one that made me want to keep watching it. I have one that just made me angry. Um, <clears throat> I actually have a few that made me angry. Um, <laughs> I'll just name two of them. Um, Sword, Art, Sword Art Online and uh, Kill the You Killer. son of a bitch. I fucking yes. hate it. I fucking hate Sword it. Sword Art Online, the second. I hate that okay. shit. And oh, you, oh, you, oh, you said the second. Okay, I was like, I hope you. No, know. The, first, the first series. Oh, I like, I like the first. Oh, I hate the first. Uh, uh, when they did, when they uh, did the, first, the whole cabin, first, yeah, the first were, one I don't mind. Just that second one, though, my God. The first I gotta one, finish yeah. it. I heard it actually ended pretty good. Yeah, the the first one, I will admit, it had me completely hooked, and I thought the concept was great. The and concept was great. Just, the execution was terrible. Yeah, it really I, was. I will say this. Really they drop the ball. They did it. I mean, I the, mean the first series simple, was I mean, kind of stupid. In one hat. part two, though, that romantic cabin, the where they had the the server was like their kid and all that other stuff. Well, that that yeah. it, well it's, it's because well, to me, that relationship wasn't built up enough for me to give a fuck about all that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was so it was like, like cause you, I agree were, because like you, it came out of nowhere. It's like you knew they kind of had a like. Kind of have some type of attraction, but not necessarily a romantic one. Then all of a sudden, it's like, hold on, you guys are hooking up and you're married now. And I like, feel yeah. like I feel like they edited out like some episodes that they never aired because it, it made no sense. Bad writing is what it was because it was like <laughs> the first time you the first time you meet Asuna, it's like, oh, she's this quiet girl in the hood, and that was like in the first episode. The second time you meet them, they're already overly familiar with each other to the point where she's like making fun of him. And I'm like. When did y'all cross from her being super quiet to like her being super aggressive? And then the third time you see her, oh, they, they need to get together. What? What, what? Well, where the hell was the transition? Oh, there was no one. Oh, well, great. It's fine. Um, I'm not watching this again. Click. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 then, and then they had the, 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 like the daughter, which was a like, letter, like, the hell with this? <laughs> He's like, well, fuck this, fuck this animal. <laughs> I would have to say for me the one the one that actually like I'm still waiting for a sequel if it ever gets made maybe there is one I don't know about but the ending pissed me off so much I think I mentioned this in other, another podcast um, prior but Berserk yeah there's a sequel oh. coming out to that yep. yeah, Berserk that ending man I love the whole thing but when I got to the ending I was like. Yeah, is this, this really happening? Is this really the end? Yeah, you need to watch the the movies, and there's like a sequel series coming out. 
Oh, okay, because I mean, but but the anime itself, I, I was I was pissed. I'm like, you cannot let something in this bad. Not bad is like execution is bad. Like damn, like he didn't like nothing good even happened at the end. Nothing. I have break- never seen them. just a, a whole, I've never seen a completely evil bad ending in anything in my life until that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break this to you. Nothing good happens to that poor bastard. Yeah, Berserk, after- is pretty, Berserk is kind of known for its overwhelming use of gore porn. Well, not even that. It's just there There are no happy endings for anyone in that franchise. Well, most people die. <laughs> and if they don't die, something worse than death happens to them. So it's like, Jesus. Uh. <laughs> All right, cool. I, I, I clearly missed like the last minute of conversation. What the hell are you guys talking about? Something about gore uh, porn. Much, and I was like, what? Pretty much uh, anime, and pretty much anime that we watched that kind of pissed us off, pretty much. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. did. You go next. Uh, Let's out there. I don't... I... I, 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 I know what your choice out. is. I know what your choice is. Naruto. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, right. You know what? You know what? That that is, that is true. There's a lot of the, especially yeah. the anime, where I'm like, really? the anime is fucking terrible. Yeah, the manga, like, and manga's way. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Oh, I, right, actually, the manga's I, not do, I, I like the anime, but I can't stand the countless fillers. Well, that's why I'm, that's why I say the anime is terrible. Well, well that's what. Not, not only that, the. The character development of Naruto was so disappointing. Like, he redeems himself in the the that movie they did the other day, the Naruto the Last. You actually saw him like mature a little bit. That movie nah, about him and um Hinata. <laughs> did you see the whole movie? Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I've seen the movie. I, I wouldn't say he. I wouldn't say that helped him. If anything, that was a that movie was a justification for making for making why Hinata. And, Naruto were together at the end of the manga. Well, well of course, but that I mean, was a, that, movie saw... was, that movie was a justification because realistically, when the manga ended, we were like, there was no real heavy amount of development to justify that Naruto fell in love with Hinata. Okay. I agree. You are correct on that. But I'm trying to point, they actually, even though they did do it that way, they actually showed character development and growth in Naruto. Mm. Am I wrong? It's It's very minor, that's what I'll say. Well, for Naruto, it's a it's a huge leap. It is minor though, but it, it for Naruto, minor. that I was mean, a, huge Naruto, yeah, a huge leap. Yeah, it's a huge leap for Naruto. Well, I mean, <laughs> Naruto as a whole was uh, was you're right. It does have a lot of filler episodes, but I would say that Naruto kind of took a nosedive after uh, the first half of that anime. Like when he's a kid, it has relatively good uh, character growth. But when everyone... Shippuden ugh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly... So Shippuden was a huge disappointment. Exactly. Yeah. The first series was awesome because, like, all of those characters had their own motivations. They had their own character growth, their changes and everything. And then after five or six years, it's like all this weird stuff happens. It's like... <laughs> well, that's not even my problem. My problem is that for some reason after the five or six years, the other characters became irrelevant as hell. Like... The only yep. the only arc that yep. was canon that had any real development was like Shikamaru and his not even his team just really just Shikamaru and Asuka. Awesome. That was it. <laughs> and what? Yeah, I mean, and Asuka. Awesome I'm like, oh, that's great. It's great. It's I would great say great that Shikamaru, man, he's one of my favorite characters in that whole anime, and the reason mm-hmm. why is because. He just doesn't give a shit. Like he, 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 can see, he can see a bomb about to blow up the house. It's next too like, troublesome, hey, hey, man. Hey, Come hey, on. He, he just like, well, it ain't my house. Like, and I remember that first, like one of the first uh, seasons, he said, uh, in the middle of a term, he was like, I wish that was me, man. Just a cloud blowing in the wind. It's like, dude, dude that's like my fight. favorite. That's like my favorite line. Like man. you're in the middle of a fight, and this dude doesn't even want to fight. It's like he wants to literally just throw the tournament. It's, he's like, what the hell? Yeah, man? he's just like, ah. Why am I here? This is a waste of time. I just can, can I just look at clouds, man. This is some bullshit. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I don't know. Like my favorite character in Naruto was uh, Rock Lee. They can compl- they, they compl- go. This man has they, taste. I'm I'm glad. They, <laughs> I say that's my ninja dude. I, I, I love Rock Lee, but I love Rock Lee because he's a hard fucking worker. Like exactly. He, he doesn't, he doesn't want to tell you he can't do shit. He's like, you know what? I don't have powers, but I will find a way to kick your ass in my fist. Because 
And what I also like he, about him, he's not as dumb as he appears at first. If you watch some of the episodes, he's like a genius, gonna, really. He's actually a borderline genius. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. No, he is a genius. It's just he doesn't like. Let me put it this way: all that, all those like 50 episodes of the war, and we gotta fight this evil being, and you know, the <laughs> and all that stuff. If you had given Rock Lee the power of the Kyubi, that shit would have been knocked down in three episodes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. He would have. He would have taken care of all that shit. <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah, because everybody would have been wrecked before they even blinked. Hey, I, I, I would say this. I think that fight he had, that first fight he had with Gara, oh, the yeah. way that shit ended, to me that was bullshit. Yeah, yeah. The way, the, the, the way they had Gara saved, it's like, y'all pulled this shit out of y'all ass at the last minute of editing, didn't you? Because there is no yeah. way you should have that shit. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it real. Like, they should have just, like... Like I just like I said, they instead of doing all these weird uh, spinoffs of Naruto now, they should just look do something just focusing on Rock Lee. He's a far more interesting character. No, they did do that, life. but the problem is there's a manga. There's a manga for it. I watch did, it. it, but I mean, not, I read it. It's not really traditional Naruto. It's like a comedy series. That's all. Yeah, yeah it was. They had him in like super SD form. Yeah, the, the chibi forms. Rock Lee, I'd watch that. <laughs> I, I didn't uh, get that far into that. I just kind of looked at it. I was like, eh, I'm good. <laughs> it's like, but they pickled Rock Lee. Like, they, they totally pickled him in Shippuden. And I'm like, come on, man. Oh, well, they pickled like, like, everybody, dude. Like, they're, they're, I'm yep. serious. There, there is no yeah. side after who's worth a damn. Ben, ben here's yeah, something sorry, interesting. It looks like they might be redeeming Piccolo and Super. He's, he looks like the rumors he might get a new form. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, no, no, for sure, no, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. Terrell, I'm just saying. Terrell, why are you being so pessimistic, man? <laughs> like you don't have any faith in anime anymore. Well, I, it's not that I don't have any faith. It's just that I, Dragon Ball Z Super is a sore subject for me because I, I honestly did, I wish they had just let DBZ die. There was no reason to do any of this Battle of the God stuff because Toriyama already kind of. To me, at the end of the Boo Saga was the obvious. Oh, okay, this is the direction Dragon Ball Z is going. I'm like, okay, good, you ended it. Because the direction it was going was that nobody else mattered except for Goku and Vegeta. And even half the time, Vegeta didn't matter. And then, yeah. to see, and then to see Super, Super has literally shown me nothing but proving me right. A lot of stupid crap. You know, I mean, the way, if, you look at, if you look at the way Resurrection F ended, I was like, that... That you have not learned a goddamn thing, Toriyama. Yeah, was I was bad. disappointed with the ending of that movie. I was yeah. disappointed. Was that movie was stupid? That ending was so fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Time travel is totally awesome. He yeah. saved the world through time traveling. Was because it five they, minutes? Because they couldn't have Vegeta beat him, right? That would have been too easy. No, I mean, like here's the, here's. Yeah, the he could have. He could have easily said Vegeta finish him. Dragon Ball should have ended. At Dragon Ball should have ended with the Cell Saga, and then like GT was supposed to be about Gohan. And it was and supposed to actually it was supposed to end at Frieza. I know, and but the Cell Saga makes more sense though. Man. Yeah, I, I I agree with the Cell no, 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 Saga no, no, no. because the Cell Saga at least someone else came uh, came into into a bigger picture at least for a short time. That was Gohan. Because it's like Boo Saga isn't terrible. Boo Saga is just. Boo Saga isn't as good. That's like my biggest issue. Yeah, is well, they, they changed. But the thing is, Akira Tomiyama himself complained. They forced him to change it. The the end of the Boo Saga was originally supposed to be Gohan wrecking things again, but they nerfed him on purpose, and he had to do a bunch of changes. Like, hmm? They could have they could have ended Boo Saga when uh, Majin Vegeta uh, sacrificed instead of take out Boo. It could have ended right there. I thought. Yeah, that would have been a, they, 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 they 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 kind of a weak ending. That would have been a weak ending for the whole arc, though. Uh, that's when, that's when the arc, yeah. That was when the arc just got started. I know. I know everyone loves. Uh, I know. I know everyone loves Vegeta, but because they kept Vegeta alive, we'll never get future Trunks in the current timeline. We get this. Trunk substitute. <laughs> kind of lame. See, like, we get along. We get it. See, that's why we get along just fine. Cause that's how I feel. Cause Future Trunks is my favorite DVD character. Like but he's a I love Future they, Trunks. They, they they made him into kind of a bitch too, though. If you watch the. <laughs> the uh, 
it's like every time I start to like something Akira Toriyama does, he changes things, and I'm like, what are you doing? What? Me, I'm stubborn. I keep watching anyway. Well, you know what? I, I, I will move us on to something that's a little less depressing. Yes, let's oh, get off well, Dragon Ball. You, you did, I blame you, did, you uh, Terrell. You did, I don't know uh, if you started me. it, but... You did uh, skip me, though, uh, Doc, in terms of anime. That oh, you don't want to play. Keep going. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm surprised <laughs> no one has said this yet, since we were talking about Dragon Ball. I'm surprised no one said this yet. GT. Well, I don't uh, doubt GT because GT doesn't exist. They said GT doesn't exist. Okay. What are you talking about? Okay, okay. KH. Oh, you mean GTO, Greatest Teacher on uh, Azuka? That's a great show. I uh, love yeah. that show. No, but, no, no, but Cage, I'm going to tell you right now, that's two strikes. <laughs> I'm going to throw your ass out of here. Dude, what, wait, wait, what I, hey, I, hey, I, I would rather invite, I would rather you spend time in my essence to talk about that shit. Why are you getting so furious, dude? Shut up. Okay. Just calm down and drink some OJ. You'll be all right. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me put it this way. That does not exist. It, do, it does not exist. <laughs> it didn't happen. I'm pretty sure somebody here has it on their computer or has it linked or has a DVDs or something. So if you, if, I, 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 would, I would advise you not to come out and admit it, but just I know one no, of you guys have it. I watched that entire damn thing on Cartoon Network, and I, 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 that's, that's, that's like 56 or how many episodes I can never get back in my life. Thanks a lot. Uh, same here. I see. I I'll admit it. I bought the collection because I didn't know any better at the time. Oh, I have it, goodness. and I played um, it. To our and I was like, um, send all your hate mail, emails, and comments. <laughs> no, and, you, and you guys could say what, <laughs> you guys could say whatever you the want. Good, the Good Shepherd and Red Fox. I saw. I saw Dragon Ball, and I bought everything that I could that was Dragon Ball. I bought the original Dragon Ball series. I bought Dragon Ball Z, and I bought Dragon Ball GT, and I watched it all. And I got to GT, and I, every time I watch an episode, I'm like, I hope it gets better. I hope it gets better. Oh, well, hey, we, I hope it gets we got better. a comment here. Better. We got a comment from Shadow Hero saying, all I'm going to say is that I'll take Naruto over DBZ and DBS. Naruto focuses on what it should. Granted, I hate the fillers, but the series as a whole is way better than Dragon Ball, in my opinion. Agreed. Yeah, Agreed. Yeah, yeah, Agreed. I'll give them that. Hands down. Yeah. I mean, I will, I'll... Naruto is way better. The fights are so much better in Naruto and even One Piece than uh, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z just gets, like, the, the, I'm telling you, man, when they made Super Saiyans, that series got broken. <laughs> yeah. Cause like, it, pretty much when we like did the Dragon Ball Z. I mean, but it, let me say this. pushed to the side. Because if you, you notice the show, less and less technique and combinations and more sure. explosions, yelling, blurred and I, movement. I, I, and to me, the martial I, arts just went to shit. And I would, and I may be wrong about this. If I disagree, let me know. But to me, the best, the best two fights I could think of that ever in all of Dragon Ball Z. This, this is my opinion, is Piccolo versus the Android. I think it's Android 17. Yep. And I would say the first Goku versus Vegeta fight. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Those um, are my two favorite fights because to, to me, it wasn't so much about explosions, but these bastards were hitting each other so hard that they caused craters. Yeah, yeah. I mean, literally, like, I'm not saying that there weren't good fights in Dragon Ball. Like, like I'll, I'll give an example. One of the seminal fights in Dragon Ball, everyone always looks at the World Tournament fights, but really, one of the seminal fights in the original Dragon Ball was when uh, Piccolo, uh, Daimon Piccolo, Old Man Piccolo, uh, fought Goku, and this was the first time you had seen fighting like you would see in Dragon Ball Z, where people were fighting on a level where they were, like, comboing dudes, like, knocking them in the air, going behind them, you know, two-handing them uh, into the ground, craters and junk. All this shit. So it was like, damn, I, I mean, this is awesome. And then, like, like I said, Dragon Ball Z, the fights were pretty good up until the Frieza saga where Goku went through the sand, and then it was like, damn, this isn't even fun anymore. He's too powerful. Well, you know what? We got a comment from Kenoshi of Amanito. Shout out to him, by the way, and Shadow Hero 43. But he says, baby doesn't exist. I, I know of no baby. I mean, I, I know that uh, I know that uh, Good Shepherd has a baby, but uh, that's the only baby I know of. I know, I know. Anyone know any babies? And uh, he also says, Omega Shinron is not real. The Black Star Balls are myth, and Goku never turns into a kid. It was all a very bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> The only series I know where Goku's a kid is uh, Dragon Ball. 
I, I know. Of I, was like, I, said, I was like, I remember the original Dragon Ball. He was a kid. I think that's all I can recall of Goku being a kid, though. Plus, I like the character development because by after like after the Saiyan saga, it's just gone. Well, 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 I don't. Well, I don't want to bring you guys mood down any further than I already have with this particular topic. <laughs> so what I will do is switch it up. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna stay on this because you guys seem to be very adamant to discuss this shit. <laughs> but, um. Who here has purchased and tried out the Bayonetta and Corin DLC? Me. Me. So everybody except me, basically. Yeah. And me. All right, so how are you guys liking it so far? How? Uh, well, let me, let me ask you guys a very simple question first. And I need you to listen to the way I'm asking. Okay. How are you liking it so far? And by liking it, I mean liking her. Well, I'm saying, yeah. you heard the turn of his voice when he said that. I love the way female corn looks. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, is anyone actually playing with Bayonetta, or are you playing with Bayonetta? <laughs> Why can't I do both is my question. Okay, so <laughs> it, man. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm selfish. Maybe I want to do both. I want to have my cake and eat it, too. <laughs> um, so, so well, we're talking about EK. Yeah, really. Physically play with her until the amiibo comes out. <laughs> well, you know what? Shadow just made Shadow Hero Four Three's made a comment. He says, "So how do you feel? Uh, so how are you feeling in the DLC characters from Smash? People already found a combo glitch with Bayonetta. That's insane. I expected as much because even when they showed their first video back in December, I was like, she seems to be a very broken air combo fighter. She's 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 probably the most technical yeah. fighter in the game, though. Like she's not a character you can just pick up and play and like kill everybody." Like you gotta actually learn her moves. Um, she, ironically enough, she feels kind of similar to the way she does in like the original Bayonetta one and two games. Probably yeah. more more akin to Bayonetta two, if anything. Oh um, hell, um, Kenoshi says you can play Smash with one hand, and I don't even want to know what that and you know suggests. You know what that means. <laughs> you know what that means. The other hand has lotion in it. Really, really likes Bayonetta. I can't blame him, but please stop. <laughs> oh gosh! Well, I do plan on purchasing all the characters because I've been playing so much Splatoon, about 600 hours. Um, Xenoblade, about 125, I think. But I haven't been on in about a week and a half now. Damn. But I do plan on getting them all. But I'm still, I still don't uh, like. I would say this: I don't like the price because I checked online. It's like to get all the DLC characters like forty-three dollars. I'm like. But the entire game when it released was sixty. Like this doesn't really add up to me. Forty three for both getting on both Wii U and three DS. Yes, I think like for this three DS it's like thirty seven. So it's not even really worthwhile to buy one. Just go ahead yeah. and get both. Yeah, I, I got both. All of them, I got both. Yeah, I'm the same way. Well, yeah, that's usually how I, usual, I pick up my characters. Stages and skins. Well, hell, I'm, I may pick it up. I mean, you guys are saying that she's a joy to play with. I'm assuming well, I mean, really. game wise, but <laughs> <laughs> well, in terms of game wise, I probably say I prefer Corn, but that's just because I've, I've always played Fire Emblem characters back ever since like Melee. I played Roy, Brawl, I played Ike, uh, and then Smash. I've been playing Lucina, Ike, Roy, fucking Robin. <laughs> it's like, so, cool. so, do you think it's too many Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem characters in the game? Uh, listen, considering this franchise went from being barely known in the West to this, I'm fi- I'm fine. Like if they, if you ain't gonna complain about the amount of Pokemon characters or Mario characters, I don't I don't want to hear any complaints about Fire Emblem, right? Yeah, you're right. Well, well I guess in my follow-up question, I want to uh, well I let you guys the rest of you guys answer. Do you think it's too many Fire Emblem characters? And anime, you go next. Uh, well. It's a, but for me, it's like Fire Emblem. Like I don't mind it's too many characters, but it's like it's just a lot of them just have a bunch of sword fighters and counters. It's like Mart is the original, so of course he's gonna be there. Uh, War was in melee. Ike is Ike is pretty much is pretty different. Uh, Robin, we all know he's vastly different. Same goes to Corn, but it's like Lucina. Uh, She's a descendant, boy. man. She's a descendant. <laughs> Yeah, I, really, I, I will. I don't really I will care say, for. I don't really care for Lucina. I will say, I think Lucina what? was kind of a wasted character slot. To me, Lucina's just Marth with the skin and maybe a slightly different 
characteristic in terms of like the way she you fight with her, but that's it. Well, yeah, most people say that, but see, I, I rather I rather play with Lucina than Marth, but that's just a personal bias because Awakening was good shit, and I can't I can't walk away from that. <laughs> okay, shit. okay, okay. Let, let, let's go let's go ahead and, and let's say the real truth. You like playing with Lucina because you're misogynistic, you know? Yeah, of course. That's why that's why I only play with female Robin. And female Corin, and I play with Bayonetta and Palutena and Zero Suit Samus because I don't believe in men. Men are a myth. They were created by the devil. That's, that's all it is. All right, what about you, Ray? Uh, I you swear, you characters? gamers are just. <laughs> well, I actually don't. I actually don't think there are too many Fire Emblem characters. I mean, look. Um, I know. Even though I was talking uh, a while ago when they brought up uh, what's his name, that asshole Cloud Strike, uh, that uh, Smash Brothers. I mean, this is still true. Smash Brothers is a celebration of all things Nintendo. It's also a way for them to basically uh, to. Uh, it, I mean, it's it's a way to keep certain franchises relevant without them having this, to create an entire game for them. You know, there hasn't been a new Earthbound game released in the West for years, but. Since the Game Boy Advance, but people know who Ness and Lucas are because of Smash Brothers. So, I mean, you know, they want to, they want to, they want to grow their franchise. They want to increase uh, brand recognition. Well, they're going to have to, you know, put them in the games. I mean, Fire Emblem. They want to grow that franchise, so they got to put it in the game. Okay. You know, one I can see, I can, I can actually see them make it like a fighting game for Fire Emblem, like kind of like how Soul Calibur was. Yeah, if I get, yeah, if I can get, if I can get a, if I can get a, a Fire Emblem Warriors game or a fucking Fire Emblem fighting game, I'd be totally sold either way. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think I will go ahead and you know do something stupid and just reserve without even thinking about it. Yeah, <laughs> same here. If they did a Fire Emblem Warriors akin to Hyrule Warriors, I'd buy it. Well, considering the mm. Japanese audience, when they did that poll, the Japanese audience really want to see that. So, I mean, it's not I like they're I mean, look at the game. And look at you the know. Shin Megami Fire Emblem crossover. It looks, the battle system looks almost like a fighter game anyways. We I mean, know it's not, but I'm just saying. Yeah, that's like, I really... It looks kind of like well, we have a few comments here before we continue. Um, Triple M, this is, this is in reference to our last topic. Damn you, man. Um, he said that Red Fox and the Com uh, weren't the only one who saw GT all the way through. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I really am. Yeah, I feel bad about it myself. <laughs> <laughs> and he also he also said that about the Mario characters, you really can't complain because many of them has their own um, series within the franchise, and I agree. You really that they do have their own franchise, more or less. Yeah, I like I like playing with all of them. They said Bowser Jr. I don't. I never really care for the little bastard, but that's just me. So I can hate Bowser. You calling him a bastard? He's probably the only one out of all the Bowser kids that isn't a bastard. No, he yeah, is. He's the, the only kid. He's the only kid from Bowser. No, he's the only kid. Yeah, because Nintendo only... changed it where the Koopalings are is are Bowser's minions. I'm like, are you kidding me? Kids are the Koopalings. Roy, uh, Wendy, uh, Liam. Ludwig, uh, other one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Iggy Moore and Lemmy, Ludwig, uh, Roy, Wendy, and Larry. Okay, yeah. you, know that, you know that all too well, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I play. You know how many times I play Mario World? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, look, I just, I'm sorry. I like, I like the originals. I don't like that little Bowser Jr. with that annoying ass voice. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. okay. Shadow Hero 43 is, I guess he's trolling right now. He's trolling, I guess, um, Terrell. He says, what women are you weak against? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're not having that conversation. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 speak up. I mean, you like playing with women, and you like playing with women. So, Well, when he says what women are weak against, is he talking about in the game, or is he talking about in general? I can't tell. I mean, l l let's just stay on the game topic at this point. <laughs> What women I'm weak against? Well, does he mean that in terms of me fighting them, or just in general? <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and give both scenario answers. Uh, weak against fighting against is probably Rosalina's cheap ass. Um, <laughs> women, women on week four would probably be like Paul Tanner just got me fucked up. Paul Tanner got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Female Robin got me fucked up, and Lucina got me fucked up. 
I can understand. So basically what you're saying is a lot of the women that smash got you fucked up. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Hey, especially when you, you can see that fan art people be making, bro. I'm done. <laughs> I, gotta lay, I gotta lay down. I gotta lay down for a few hours, man. This is too much. <laughs> and Shadow Hero also asks, um, since you mentioned anime, what animes are you looking forward to this year? I'll let oh. everyone answer that. Okay. Go ahead, anime. Uh, this is one I was. This is one that's out now. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can bring. Uh, let me see if I can find the title real quick. Pretty much, just this yeah, dude. He might the first time. What? B got H K. No, well, was, I've, I've yeah, seen that, was, that already. Yeah, that's, yeah, those were that was years ago. No, I, 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 I was just trolling. That's all. I was just trolling. Um, that's because he was yeah, watching it before we started the podcast. This, uh, here's this. Oh yeah. Um, that's one I'm currently watching. It's like. Four or five episodes in, it's called Erased. It's actually pretty good. It's yeah, like I've heard a dude. lot of good things about Erased. Yeah, this dude goes from his uh, like from late twenties going back to his childhood to save like some of his friends. So it's pretty. It's it's actually pretty deep too. It has a lot of mature things. <clears throat> that's pretty. That's the only. That's the one. That's the only one so far. But the rest of them, eh, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll take a look at. <clears throat> All right, what about you, Red Fox? Um. Uh, I've been looking forward to the completed uh, Chronicles of a, of a Hero. It's basically about this guy and his uh, group of friends who like, deal the deal the uh, uh, people, uh, demon king of their world, but uh, like, like half of his like everyone dies except for him. So basically, like he goes back in time to. Uh, Increase the odds that he'll win without any of his friends dying or anything. But he start like he starts changing the past. Like people who are supposed to die don't die. People who he thought were good guys turn out to be bad. It's actually kind of interesting. All right, and Terrell. Um. Well, I'm currently watching uh, Dude Ra Ra Ra. Uh, the last part of that because I've been watching season two for like a year and a half now, so they finally are gonna finish that this year. Awesome. Uh, a few other shows that are coming out this year. You got the Phoenix Wright anime that comes out in April. You got the uh, JoJo Part 4, because I've been on my JoJo kick, and I've heard a lot of good things about Part 4, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the anime adaptation of a, a relatively new Shonen Jump series is called uh, My Hero Academia, or uh, in Japanese, Boku no Hero Academia. I'm looking forward to that. And I think all those come out this spring. Um, those are the main ones I'm looking forward to. All right, good shepherd. The Terrell that red bastard stole my list. <laughs> oh, did I? Yeah, I mean, I don't watch a lot of anime. I just started getting back into anime again. I'm more of a manga reader. Like All I. Right. My days of being a hardcore anime fan was more in my teen years. As an adult, I'm more I'm more manga than anime, but I do love anime when I got the time for it. All right then, and we do have another question. Another question from SK Massive. Uh, shout out to him, by the way. And this is for Red Fox. He says, "Why you woke up that ass in your last debate? I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but I'm I'm gonna take a guess internally." <laughs> Um, I don't know, man. I, <laughs> that sums it up, huh? I, I tried so hard to not have trolling on my channel, but you do one debate, um, and the trolls seem to find you, even if you try so very hard not to have trolls. I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know why they keep on coming. I, I, I don't know. They like you a lot. <laughs> They you know really what? like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he keeps feeding the trolls, man. You know the rules. Don't feed the troll. He's a part of the problem. All right, well, moving on to the next topic. And this is more of a trolling topic um, to certain individuals out there. I won't say any names, but you know who you are, and you know what the hell you do on a daily basis to grow your channels. But, no, but seriously, no disrespect. But you know how about what was it? Maybe a week or so ago that there was a 
a tweet about Nintendo stating that they're going to release Bayonetta and Corrin on the 3rd, right? Yeah. This was officially... This is information released officially from Nintendo. Okay. And did that and did that not come to pass? Yeah. But yet we got all these people out here making up and spreading all this bullshit about the NX rumors. And they believe those I mean it comes and, launch with a Smash game and all sort of nonsense. Yeah, and, and they believe those are more important or more accurate than something that Nintendo releases officially. It's like, if you can trust Nintendo when they say, we're going to release Bayonetta and Corrin on February 3rd, why do you just listen to Nintendo when they say, we're going to talk about the NX more at E3 2016? Leave this it is where you have people taking advantage of disillusioned, desperate fans. It's like there's some people who stop watching an anime and go straight to fan fiction. And ignore the main series. <laughs> Damn. And don't be look. Don't bring sense into this shit. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I keep on forgetting about that. Damn. That's how. That's how it works in this in this community. I mean, I, I, I keep forgetting. I, sorry. I just think it's weird and it's kind of stupid that I got a fit. Like me personally, I saw the official news. I believed it. But yet, when and when Nintendo made their announcement last year, what Reggie did, we're not going to talk about NX this year. It's going to be the next year at E3 2016. I left it at that. I didn't feel the need to go researching NX to see what's going to have in it, what games are going to release on it. I just said, I'm going to leave it at that. We will have concrete facts when they talk about it this year at E3. Now, people thought that when they announced the whole Bayonetta going on sale for half price, Later on this month, they said that Nintendo just, you know, basically hint to us when they're going to release the Bayonetta DLC for uh, Smash. Now, I see how you may interpret that, and I'm not shitting on anyone that actually thought that, because even I said that could be a clue. Nintendo does work in mysterious ways. But last year, you were given information of when they would talk about something that you're interested in. Quit making up all this other BS and spreading around these rumors, these links that come from no official source whatsoever. Because all you're doing is you're you're adding to the potential disappointment. Yep. Because when this thing comes out, it may be the greatest thing in the world, but since it's not going to be what the people have made it out to uh, made out to, that they want it to be, they're going to be disappointed. It can have all the games at launch that they want, but it's like, but it didn't have voice chat. Or it didn't have a 500 gig hard drive; it just had 100 gigs. They're gonna be disappointed for some reason because you believed all these rumors leading up to this point, even though you know none of them have come from Nintendo. Yep. So I just want to say to these particular YouTubers out there, like I say, no one, no one, no names. I'm not gonna call you out. That's not how I work. But I believe all you should just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you no, sir. I, <laughs> no, no disrespect, but there are people I'm still subscribed to at this point. Um, and oh, basically, basically, you just want to walk around and give them a nice cup of shut the fuck up. Got gotcha. you. Basically, I just want people to stop trying to grow their channels off of bullshit rumors. Like, if you can't grow, if you can't grow your channel naturally, being honest, being a real journalist and a reporter, I, I mean. Uh, Honestly, you, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see any reason to even invest in your existence. I don't like, for example, and I will say these names because this is a compliment. I love Ms. T. Shout out to him, by the way. Love his content. Love it. He never mentions any bullshit on his channel. When it comes to Nintendo news and not so much bullshit, I love Andre Walker. Shout out to him, by the way. Yep. The news articles he posts or whatever, I've rarely, I don't think I've ever seen any bullshit. Anything that say, oh, here's a new rumor, it's nothing like that. I appreciate that. Even at a podcast, as you, as you guys see in my intro video uh, portion, love, active gamer life, never any bullshit. Gamers at large, never any bullshit. They may speak about the rumors that are out there, but they don't try to promote the rumors. 
And that's the problem I hey, have. You better like, watch yourself because I'll jack your ass up otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but they don't promote the rumors. And the same thing for, you know, Terminator Juice in his um, podcast, Juice is Loose. Shout out to him. They don't promote the bullshit. They may talk about it, but it's never in, you know, it's never in an extended period of time. And they don't try to promote what is the rumor. They just mention it and give their two cents. And typically their two cents is it's bullshit till Nintendo confirms it, which is the way I feel. And they move on. But there are people out there that just all they do day in day out when they get off work, post NX is gonna release in March. Like, who said this? NX is gonna release a Smash. Do they just they they haven't even finished the DLC for the first game yet? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, here's well, the thing. Sabotage Smash Brothers now as it is. If they did that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing that gets me is that people are like, well, you know, this is what I think. Look, I understand that, but if you could preface this with "this is what I think," "this is what I believe," these a lot of these people are saying this stuff like it's fact, like you know, like they have like they have an inside source that works at Nintendo, you know, that gave them all all the information. I'm like, okay, yeah, let's go let's go look at all the people who have leaked information at Nintendo or Nintendo's products and see what happened to them. <laughs> And let me go on record by saying that the ones I was referring to earlier that's, you know, promoting this bullshit, please keep in mind, and to my viewers, I don't watch this content. When I see their clickbait as video titles, I immediately just move on to the next post in my feed. If that yeah. video title has anything that says NX is or NX confirmed, if it says anything NX, I move on. Now, if it's someone like Rob a ruler to review. Shout out to him that says my thoughts on the NX situation or the NX thing. I will watch that because he literally, like you said, he he prefaced it with my thoughts, my opinion, what I think. He didn't say, well, this is going to happen because the Wii U sales of this and the game sales of that. Their sales numbers is this, and so this must mean that the the NX has to launch this year, and we know it's a console because Reggie indicated it. When? Yeah, yeah. I like I get tired of people saying stuff like that because I'm like, look, listen. Everyone's like, well, Nintendo needs to do this. I'm like, okay, let me put it this way: their business, the only thing they have to do is make money, and you know, yep. I, I, they're I look, making money a lot. Yeah, they're making, <laughs> a lot of it. They're making a lot of money, so you know what? Let them do whatever the hell they want to do. They can look, listen. As long as they continue to turn a healthy profit. If, if they just want to be like, we'll release the NX when we fucking feel like it, then that's, you're just going to have to deal with that. That's but you know what, though? Nintendo has already made money on the NX. Let me tell you how. Because some stupid-ass people actually reserved the concept when it was first announced. <laughs> well, no, they're not making the money off of that. But their stock did spike, I believe. I'm not sure. I'll double-check that. And, I mean, people actually went to GameStop to reserve the idea of the NX. And GameStop actually had this list of, like reserve. Like so within we, 48 hours of the the announcement, that was hilarious. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh at the NX being it ends up being like a damn Connect 3.0. I'm I'm just gonna laugh. Yeah, if it, yeah, if it ends up being like a damn or, or some massive Amiibo or some shit, I'm gonna laugh. It's like yeah, you or a new massive up. OS, <laughs> new <laughs> OS for the systems. That is horrible. Don't say no. <laughs> no, not another contact. Oh, no, it's not gonna be. You know what he means. He doesn't mean an actual connect, connect. But yeah. <laughs> And, and, you know, and, and Triple M had made a comment here. He said, it seems like more people uh, like to do this. When reality keeps knocking, they just want to stay in their fantasy bubble. And I, I agree. Like, they really do. Nintendo can come out right now and say, guess what, guys? The NX is not our next console. And you're going to see what someone post a video. What is you speak of? They, they're going to they're gonna post some video saying, Nintendo, uh, Nintendo says the NX might not be a console. No, they said it won't be a console. And then the next video will say, well, I think the NX is a console. Okay, they just said it won't be. Now you're going to release a video why you think it is going to be? Because people think they're lying if it doesn't fit their agenda. You know, yeah, I think it's a <laughs> Has anyone, like, anyone 
anyone who's been a Nintendo fan for years, has anyone ever guessed what their next console is going to be? No. Like, did, anyone think, did anyone think that the Wii was going to going to follow the, uh, the GameCube, or that the GameCube was going to follow the uh, the uh, the N sixty four? Like, I could see the jump from the NES to the SNES, but after that, I have no idea what they're going to do next. And I'm okay with that. I don't want to be surprised. I don't want to. I mean, it's like it's like it's like it's like knowing what your gifts are going to be for Christmas or your birthday. You know, I mean, I'm going to be surprised. Damn it. Yeah, you know, it's uh, fun to guess, but it, uh, I don't want to be right. I want to be surprised, pleasantly you know, surprised, of course. Well, 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 let me let me say this. Let's just move on from this. You know, you man, fuck the NX. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> What is there anything else you guys have to uh, talk about in particular that was on your mind at all besides the NX and especially besides Dragon Ball GT? <laughs> oh, and no Mario Maker. <laughs> you <are there. laughs> well, you know, I, I'll, I'll ask this question to get it started. Uh, how's everyone doing in Xenoblade Chronicles X? I beat the game, uh, what was that, last week? Like, probably a few days ago, actually. Well, last time I heard you speaking on the podcast, I think it was a Juice is Loose, you said you were struggling. I was struggling on that fucking final boss. <laughs> and I, had to, I said, fuck it, I gotta go back. Because the final boss isn't like a boss, it's like a gauntlet, and you essentially gotta beat, like, a string of enemies repeatedly, and I was like, well, and, and the thing is, it's one of those boss fights that I think it's almost impossible to beat that thing without a scale. Like, you've got to have a scale, and if you lose your scale in one of the sections, then you won't get it back if you die. Like, if you die, it'll, it'll restart you at the last part at the last part of the fight, but it won't give you back your scale. And you, you pretty much need your scale for the entire fight, so I essentially had to go, I had to figure out a way of keeping my scale the entire time. And not just mine, but like all so my Terrell, skills. So basically, you're challenging me to beat the game without a scale. I mean, Challenge can, accepted. I mean, look, I, I'll, put it, I'll put it this way. I, I can beat like one of them without a scale, but I can't beat all, all waves because it, it gets fucking ridiculous at the end. Although, I will say this. When you get to the ending, you unlock a particular skin they, uh, that you might be surprised who the skin is for. That's all I'm going to well, well, yeah. let, 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 let me jump in to say this, then. It is clear, my viewers out there, that Tourette does not give a shit about spoilers. But continue. Well, no, because I didn't say... Yeah, what the, he, I didn't, yeah, all, all, he, all I he said did clip it somewhat clean, but yeah, he did spoil it a slight bit. No, it's all I said, all I, all, look, that, to me, that's a tip, all right? Do not go into that fight thinking you can beat so, okay, it. Okay, okay. It, it wasn't just about the skin, but you talking about how the final boss is and... I didn't even tell you, you anything. You, I didn't even tell you, you anything about tech patterns. You ruined the entire 12th chapter for some people out there, probably. I don't give a damn about me, but... No, I, haven't, I didn't so, spoil most, most of the 12th chapter is more plot than anything. Terrell, you know he's fucking with you, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's, he's, he's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm used to this bullshit, so I, was, I figured I'll save you this one time. Next time you're on your own. <laughs> what about so you? Dude. What about you, KH? Let me guess. No Xenoblade X, just Mario Maker. <laughs> uh, I played. A, I, uh, I was doing some grinding uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, I'm on chapter... Hold on, hold on. Okay, pause. Forgive me for interrupting. Did you just say two weeks ago? That was before the first OGL, man. Like, how you gonna bring us some shit that's two weeks old? I'm kidding. I'm giving you a hard time. <laughs> yes, you are. Don't give me a headache. No, I've I, been playing more than Mario Maker. I've actually been playing a lot of Smash Brothers and Mario Advance 4, so... Well, I know you, you also told me on a Hangout recently that you... Well, you told me and Chef that you were you just be Contra on hard. Yeah. Take Contra it, 3. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, that to, was the viewers, last year. To, to the viewers out there, I will tell you right now, a person that be conscious to your heart, don't fuck with this man. <laughs> because this gaming is a person, wise, gaming wise. This is a, gaming this wise. Is a person that basically has an extreme determination to beat something that probably doesn't matter anymore. So you can kind of imagine that, yeah, like, just, just leave him alone. <laughs> He's a little too focused. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, I can, I can show them the picture. One second. Go right ahead. <laughs> your email box blows up with people asking you how the hell you did it. Don't you go only blame yourself. You need to hurry up and pick up Contra 4 in the DS. That game is beginnermous. I love that game. Say I haven't beat it though, I won't lie to you. I've been busy. I need to actually pick that game back up and play it. Okay. And why Dangers is of picture? ADHD, you play several games simultaneously. All right. There we go. <clears throat> One, uh, yep, that's one picture right there. <clears throat> oh damn! Next, you don't now see you that. Do. You don't see that if you beat on easy or normal, and that. Now you gotta do ghouls and ghosts. Oh, they did oh, that too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, super ghouls and ghosts. I did that too already. So, 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 Mr. Red Fox, what, what, he, what he's saying is he's far ahead of your ass in your recommendations. Ooh. Wow. Shots are being fired. Kill him. Okay, it's just like, what, you, what you're asking me to do, I have done, sir. Give me something uh, else. Super Castlevania 4. Beat it. Well, well you know what? There, there, is one, there, there is one thing you haven't beat yet. I have to be honest with you. Mm. Lord Dynamo. Oh my God! Oh well. Wow. Oh, that disrespect, son. <laughs> hey, you, you, if, you th if you think you can, bring it on, bitches. Bring it on. I, I've splatted, I've splatted Lord Dynamo many times, but he splatted me more. I'll, I'll keep it real. You know? And uh, and you know, Red Fox like to brag that you know, on Splatoon, of course. Let's get that out there that he splatted my wife, but she's very vengeful. You know, very vindictive. <laughs> Yeah, it, I, I honestly, I don't recommend taking his wife out because she will come and find you. <laughs> She's relentless. No, no, give me a straight. Taking her out is a joy. She's a fun person to talk to and be around, but don't just kill her in Splatoon. <laughs> so, in my pitiful, see, my problem is me and I have very similar attack patterns, so I come across her multiple times, and I'm ruthless in Splatoon. I'm sorry, so I'll not, I'll take her out. Problem is, I'll spend the rest of that match running away from her. <laughs> oh, that one, oh, that reminds me. Uh, speaking of Doc, you Doc, come out. Oh, you can't beat Dynamo, but yeah, I splatted you several times in Splatoon. But every time I beat you, pretty good in Splatoon, you accuse me of uh, camping. Um, should I show you the videos? Uh, you know what? To my viewers out there, I'm sure <laughs> you're familiar with the gameplay that I upload, so I'll be sure I'll upload some very, very uh, exposed video of him hiding All around the corner so away from me. <laughs> I just realized what happened here. No, you two are forbidden about talking about Splatoon. Because you all go on and on oh and on and on. <laughs> I, I, have, I can open up my phone right now and pull a chat that goes on for like an hour and a half straight, just you two idiots going back and forth. <laughs> it sounds like you hate, man. They like Splatoon. I, 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 I get it. I love Splatoon too, but jeez, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now I guess we can get back on the topic. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Mr. Red Fox, how far are you in Xenoblade Chronicles X? Uh, I'm only on chapter seven. So but you haven't got I, your flight module yet. No, I haven't got the flight module yet. You don't know how to fly, I, man. I'm so disappointed. Damn. Yeah, in my defense, in my defense, I have been spending an inordinate amount of time, um, just like doing like affinity missions and side quests and stuff. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Yeah, same here. So, I mean, like, like basically, I'm, I grind so that when I do the story missions, I just basically kick everything's ass. So, that's the reason why, like, I've been, I've been upgrading my, uh, I've been upgrading the, uh, lots and weapons so that, like, I can put in chimeroid uh, stuff that does, like, 40, 50% more damage to certain enemies. So, I mean, you know, I... I mean, I'm I'm getting prepared for later on, uh, you know, and I'm also uh, getting a lot of money so I can get some better skills because those mid tier skills they're better than the low tier skills, but yeah, it's like three four million dollars a piece too. Yeah, 
so and you know. um, just an update for you, Red. And it seems like SK Massive is taking some shots at you. He says that final boss was easy. I beat it halfway through on foot. <laughs> and I'm sorry, not, not even if I that's Terrell. I'm sorry about that. It's Terrell. What fucking level was he at? My God. <laughs> We'll do that. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, ba- so basically, you, so basically, basically he's saying, Terrell, you need hours. to take your game level up, son. Now, I, w- I would tell you, as a person that has uh, 125 hours, basically, like Riff, I said, it's about the augments. Like, you can be level 40 if you can have level 55, but if you have the augments and the gear that attack their weakness, it's kind of like in Pokemon. Dude, you can you can do an attack that normally does like 3,000 damage to like any normal enemy, but to that particular boss or whatever, it may do 50,000. Because like I have a weapon on my scale that like against certain like smaller enemies, it only may it may do like maybe five thousand. But when I fight against like a bigger enemy or with like a tyrant, it may do like thirty thousand hit points of damage. Yep. Yeah, These weapons are done in Final easy. Fantasy. The regular attack power is kind of like meh, but they are total beasts used on certain characters. I've got this game. I've got this weapon for my skill called the E Saber. Uh, and this thing basically, I have I put three uh, slots on it. It automatically does extra damage to um, human humanoids. But I've basically made it so that it does like forty percent extra damage to chimeroids, uh, mechanoids, and uh, the, the megafauna, which are those big ass monsters that do massive damage. And basically, like it does extra damage to enemies when you're behind them. So basically, when I do an attack, it takes off like a quarter of health. Things that have like, you know, a hundred thousand, hundred twenty thousand, like huge amount of health, and it's massive damage. Low mid-tier uh, enemies, it's like one hit, they're dead. It's ridiculous. So if you know what you're doing in this game, I mean, it's not, you know. Well, uh, SK Massive also says that he's at level 60 with 248 hours of gameplay. You, sir, are obsessed. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, God. I have 125, but I had not. Granted, I haven't played in about two weeks that so I've been so busy, but I wrecked it at 125 hours very quickly with some long ass playthrough. So I may end up hitting about my 3DS, yes, yes. I, I may not face the final boss. I hit it like maybe 200 or 250. I can't lie about that because I'm trying to get like all my augments. I'm trying to max out all my slots and gear for my scales. So yeah, I, I and I'm burning up reward tickets like. Crazy. <laughs> Every and, time you're supposed to being full, I spin them bitches. <laughs> yeah, I hate to break this to you guys, but um, in this game, one of the really cool things about uh, uh, oh shit, okay, I'm, I'm running from this. Uh, one of the really cool things about this game is that uh, <clears throat> that I really like about Xenoblade Chronicles X is that like basically you get out what you put into it. Like if you learn positioning, if you learn if you up if you upgrade the augments, if you like like if you kill certain enemies, they'll drop equipment that's better than what you can get in the shops. Like like I mean it's like you you, you put you, put, you gotta you know how to hunt. You gotta know how to fight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Red Fox. Let me ask you a question real quick. I need you to be completely honest with me. Yeah. Before you made your comment, you said I gotta run away from this. Are you playing Xenoblade Chronicles right now? No, I was playing. I'm playing Skyrim, but I just ran into a whole bunch of high-level dudes that are shooting magic around. And I don't have to <laughs> oh, I, I, I was. When I think of it, I'm like, is he playing right now? He's running away from someone that's about to kick his ass. I was oh, like, the Lord. hell with that. No, no, no. Normally, in Xenoblade like Chronicles, if I'm in a skeleton, I'm about to get my ass kicked. I just step out of the skeleton, I'm like, well, I just got my ass kicked. Really, there's no penalty for dying when you're not in a skeleton. So, I mean, you know, whatever. All right, and well, Shep, um, even though I know it's almost pointless in asking, but how far are you in Xenoblade Chronicles Six? Um, I haven't gone anywhere. I was too busy being pissed of my options for my character to being a brat. Plus, um, so I'll probably play. I'll play probably next week or something. Oh, I've been on, obsessing over Final Fantasy. You, you mean to tell me that you're that pissed off about the, not having a breast slider? I didn't even think of that. I forgot all about that, actually. Thank you for pissing me off about the SJWs again. Oh, no. damn. No, <laughs> Lord. <laughs> There's a side question. Are you getting 
No, I was the black the black character customization was not up to par in my opinion. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Which is why I went for a black girl instead of a black guy because the black guys look weird as hell. Yeah. So I, this is one of the few. This is one of the few times I'm not gonna pick a character that some should try to make it look like myself because there's no point. It's impossible. So I'll just I'm, I'm just gonna make whatever the hell I feel like at the time and keep it moving. But you know what though? I think with Xenoblade Chronicles X, that was a point because in mo in a lot of games, most people they tend to try to replicate themselves in the game at least in one way or another. Maybe not 100 percent, but somewhat close. But with the, with the options you have in the game, which, I mean, they're not small, but it's not a huge number of options either. But I don't think they want you to create a replica of yourself. But the thing is, there's a lot more customization for different types of characters. That's where I was pissed. If it was just limited in general, I wouldn't have a problem. But I'm trying to, I, w I promised someone kind of not to be a child about it, so I'm not going to have this conversation online. Point is, I'll get over myself. The game is great, so I need to just get into the game and play it. You sound like some of those people that bitch about Splatoon not having voice chat. Oh, you really trying to push my buttons today, aren't you? <laughs> you know, I mean, the game is fun or whatever, but I just have I just had any character customization options. It's no. like you're picky. I mean, I, I, I'm trolling, of course, but... I was like, I, you know damn well you're trolling. I'm going to kick your butt today, dude. All right, but yeah, no, I, I admit it. I was just being childish, so I'm just going to get over myself and play the game. Will anybody else have any other topics they would like to bring up at this time? Anything that's... Did Final Fantasy now? Explorer shut? The game is better than you think. You just said Square you didn't recommend it. You just said I don't I recommend, wasn't, I wasn't recommend it. it. I, w I know I wasn't going to, but I said screw it. Why not? Because oh, I so want to encourage Square. You can't trust anything you say. What's going so, on, man? So, so now you flip okay. flopping like yeah, that. Yeah, so there's no... Wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Guys, wait. Stop. So let me get this straight. It's it's not okay for <laughs> someone to think <laughs> about something. Bastard, it's not okay for someone to think about their position and realize they're being a bit thing and they need to open up their horizon and nothing like that. You just got to pick a choice and stick with it no matter what, even, even if it makes no sense. Hold on, was that a pun? Yeah. You said Horizon? You Jimmy Horizon Dawn or whatever? We're not going to talk about that. Well, why'd you bring it I, up I, then? <laughs> I, I, I never said Horizon Dawn. But, you know, okay. okay. You said Horizon, I was like, okay, you got to do a pun, but... Yeah, okay. The point is, is that I realized, you know what, I should recommend it because the one thing Square is doing right is they're doing better on the handheld, so I want them to keep making games on the handheld. Yep. I would like them to do better games on the console, but for, I'll take what I can get for now. So they need to make a profit so they can make more games, I guess, or better, preferably better. Right, so that's, so that is why I'm recommending it now, because when I thought about it, I'm like, no, they need more sales, so they realize they could make more games for the 3DS. That's why I'm recommending it, because it is a good game. It's not a great game, but it's a good game. The potential is there. The really I haven't done the online elements, so the online element is probably going to be really good. The game that I really want from Square Enix, they're already uh, releasing this summer, like, like three of them. Like uh, Dragon Quest Seven, Dragon Quest Eight. Um, so I mean, I can't really get too mad at them, you know. Like, <laughs> it's about time, though. Too bad it took them like three years to release these. Well, two years to release these games. Um, Agreed. I'm with so, you. I'm, you know, I can't get too mad. Um, if only they could see fit to put Dragon Quest Ten, everything would be okay. But whatever. All right, well, I'm going to bring up um, a somewhat controversial topic. Just depends on, I guess, your experience with it thus far since it's uh, since the release. But I'm going to ask everyone: um, How's your amiibo collection going? I have a problem. That's what I say. I have I'm addicted. I have I, I, in recent time of our pre-order Roy. I pre-order Ryu. I own Shovel Knight. I got Lucas, Mewtwo. I got a fucking problem. I need help. Somebody save like, me, please. Yeah, we need we need an amiibo anonymous because it's getting it's getting really bad. It's getting really bad. I was only supposed to have five amiibos at the most. 
I'm, 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 I know I at least broke 28. I'll double check. I had, a, I had, a, I have over 28 plus amiibo. I, I was only supposed to have five. I regret nothing though. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna keep going, but I'm just saying I wasn't supposed to be this far in the first place, and I know I'm gonna get more. <sighs> so has anyone? I regret in here? everything and nothing. <laughs> so I think I'm, I think I'm about to hit 50. Um, that's Jeez. not all of them, of course. I have, and I will say this, and I'm a bit ashamed to say it, but it is what it is. I have pretty much purchased all, I mean, most of the rare ones. And I have not purchased about maybe half of the first series, which is like the common characters, Donkey Kong, Mario, Peach, Yoshi. I have not purchased those yet because I want to focus on the ones that are harder to find. And so I would say out of all the ones that are considered rare or haven't been reprinted yet, I probably have about 80 to 90 percent of them. And the ones I don't have are like Lucina, Robin, um, thing, and Wii Fit Trainer, things like that. But... And in fact, I just showed you guys. I told you guys earlier um, that I picked up. Um, I found Charizard by accident <laughs> um, last night, and I'm glad I picked his ass up. <laughs> yeah, I, I, when I when I first started collecting Amiibo, I had in my mind I was going to collect certain sets. I wanted to get every Fire Emblem character, every Pokemon character, and then it's like, well, I'm going to grab one of the Zelda characters. Oh, well, I got to get Toon Link. Oh, Sheep. Oh, it's again. What? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> well, I feel I actually I feel sorry for you, Terrell, man, and you know, and here's the reason why. If Nintendo and I'm I know they're going to do this, so just be prepared. If Nintendo announces that they're gonna make amiibo of all the Pokemon, you are so fucked. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> you, I don't care if you want to buy your favorites. I'm pretty sure everyone has at least about a good 50 to 100 favorites out of the Hey, man, don't, don't remind me of things that make me sad, right? I just want the original Gen 1. <laughs> well, that's, that's a lot, dude. <laughs> that's, like that's 151 that's, Pokemon, that's like dude. right there. That's like, yeah. yeah. And let me see, times 13, you're talking about, dude. Dude, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he was in shock. Over a thousand dollars just spending on Amiibo alone. That's if you find a regular price. Well, I'm pretty sure we're all kind of more. No, it's I'm, they're they're probably, probably, they're probably, probably, I can see them at least sell them in packs, so, like kind of how they did the uh, Splatoon ones. I don't, I don't, Realistically the speaking, though, they they probably make them into cards. Yeah, I was about to say that. They'll probably do cards. They'll probably reissue the Pokemon trading cards, but now they're Amiibo smart cards. Which yep. would actually be really cool. Well, you know what? Um, yeah. yeah, I think you guys are right about that because I just checked out their website, and yes, I admit I check their website frequently, the Amiibo one. But I did see like the next launch of like you know Roy and uh, Ryu, and of course they showed the Shadow Mewtwo, but it's just a card. And I think the Shadow Mewtwo is the beginning of just going cards from here on out. Well, that's but I really would have liked an actual Amiibo Shadow Mewtwo, but you I'll know take they're the going to do it, man. They're going to they're going they're going to check out to see who's going to purchase the first run. Of I, want, I want some Smash Brothers cards, son. That'd be legit as hell. <laughs> yeah. What if they expanded Smash Brothers into like 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 what if they made a Smash Brothers game that was, instead of it being like a, a like Smash Brothers, which is kind of like a fighting party game right now. What if they did like the subspace emissary thing where like you use the cards to like unleash like someone to help you out in a tough situation? Like that'd be kinda cool. So are you, are you talking about like maybe cross smash whether it's like maybe Yu Gi Oh in a sense, but like a subspace emissary type of way? Yeah, yeah. Like it, it was it was geared for the player, but the cards were like like okay, like let's say you're in a room and there's like all these enemies about to take you down, you're like at a hundred Hey, you know what? You know what though? I, I I think the next character in Smash, and I if they did, I'm pretty sure his card or Amiibo would sell out completely. I can see Nintendo doing this as a troll move. Could you imagine if Sakurai said our next character in line to appear is Shaq Fu? Oh God! No comment. No comment whatsoever. Dude, no, no, no. I want you to sit there and let that marinate for a bit. If this shit became reality, 
Oh, I'm not commenting on it at all. You ain't going to get me to talk about that. You ain't going to make me talk about it. I can see his Amiibo man being in the basketball shorts and shit. Oh, no. Oh, man. But I can see that, I can see that car taking off. I couldn't do it. I'd be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with you. I can't do it. I think we, I think we all will buy it. I have that game. So, buying that game back in the day. So I take it I'm the only one that's kind of sane with the amiibos because I only have like seven or eight of them. Yeah. No, I'm surprised. I'm surprised you have that No, 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 no. Let me uh, let me say this. My response is: it depends on why you only have seven. If it's due to you didn't have the funds to buy as many as you want, then I would say you're still insane. But if you're saying that all you wanted is seven, then you're sane. No, well, it's, I'm only there's only certain ones I want. So it's like the next one, the next one I'm getting is for you, and then and that's probably gonna be it. And, and I and. Uh, Cause I got I got Mario, I got Mega Man, I got Pac Man, uh, I got the eight bit classic uh, Mario Amiibo, I got the Rosalina one from your from you know, from you know, <laughs> then I got Gold Mario and Silver Mario. So really, the only two, really the only ones I want to get is um, Sonic and Ryu. So pretty much those are the only ones I really want. But Doc, I just realized who we're talking to. He has so many obsessions. Of course, he's gonna have to restrict some of it. <laughs> yeah, um, like, on, we, you've seen the conversations we've had offline. Like he can't Mario afford. Even if he could, oh God! <laughs> Four hundred so, hours, gentlemen. Four hundred. If they make a Goomba amiibo, I'm pretty sure you buy it. <laughs> well, yeah. If it's Mario, if if it's Mario Brothers related, he'd probably pick them, pick it up. And Triple M has a comment. He says he, uh, he only wanted the Smash versions, and he can't even get them yet. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, there's, there's how many characters? Think about that. I think it's like, what, 58 or 60 now, isn't it? 58. Yes. Yeah. And he yeah, So if you only like, want the, the, the Smash Amiibos, that's still, that's still over, like, Nine hundred plus dollars. Yeah, it's fifty. Well, it's fifty seven, but it's like sixty if you count the me. The different I'm just, characters. I'm just glad I got the two most viable amiibo that ever were created, and I finally got them. And those were Marth and Villager. Those were the hardest ones to find for the longest time. And if you did find them, they were close to a hundred, if not over. When they restocked those bitches, I was one of the first ten people in mind. I mean, in line. I was so glad too, man, because I was not gonna spend fifty, sixty bucks on those amiibo. Like I love amiibo, but not that much. <laughs> like, hey, okay, Chef, you get a taste of this. I just asked you the other day. I said, you know what? I found an amiibo on a specific website. I'm not gonna mention it here because I want anybody to buy that shit. But <laughs> I found one. It was a Robin, and it was like I think twenty bucks. And I said, should I it's buy it? It's like, yeah. ten. And he's like, just get this shit. I'm like, well, dude, I used to pay $10 for it, so why would I pay 20 <laughs> And Chefs was like, just get the damn thing. I still have it. And Robin is pretty damn rare. That's because you're a cheap bastard. No, I'm <laughs> just as bad as Robin. I'm, I'm frugal. You're just like Enduo. He's not a cheap bastard. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I, I called you out, Lager. <laughs> cheap bastard. Oh, wow. I'm I said. That's, but that's my ninja, though. I ain't go front. Oh, we got another comment from Anderson Archilla. Shout out to him, by the way. He said that... Yeah, he's he's cool have, people. Anyone who doesn't have a Martha Amiibo, Best Buy is selling him for $10 with about $2 shipping. And that's, because, that's because he's overstocked everywhere. Like, yeah, that, it, it, it is everywhere now. Him, Dark Pit, Falco, they're all everywhere. <laughs> they, they, they become the hoes. They, the Amiibo hoes. What the hell? What the hell you just say, Terrell? Nothing. What? You said they're me, <laughs> hoes. <laughs> that wasn't me, man. That was not even twin, man. That wasn't me. Look, let, let's get this straight. This is the OGL okay. cast. You know damn well everybody says whatever the hell they feel like, regardless of people's feelings and emotions. Hey, there's only this is nothing hoes. new. There's only a few hoes of Amiibo I know about, and that's Rosalina and Peach. Well, okay. Wow. wow. And the troll wow. continues. <laughs> <laughs> this man, this man did not care at all. And and he, does not. he actually has a question though. He says, "Do you think they'll actually make that transforming R-wing amiibo along with the separate line for Star Fox Zero alone?" That's actually a good question. 
and you can go first, Cage. Cool. I can I can I can see that I can see them doing that uh, promote Star Fox even more so and then people will go crazy wanting all those amiibos and now and then uh, they haven't really said anything about amiibo functionality for Star Fox Zero so that'd be awesome to see. All right, what about you, Red Fox? Um, like something that I'd like them to make amiibo for. Uh, no, uh, he said, uh, do you think they'll make Amiibo, um, the actual transforming R-Wing Amiibo, along with a separate line for Star Fox Zero alone? Um, they probably will. Yeah, okay. I think they should, at the very least. What the hell? Are you playing Hyrule Warriors or something? Uh, playing shit. Skyrim. I'm playing. I'm playing Final Fantasy um, Explorers. Oh, that's, that's a loud. Man. That's a loud speaker to hear. Well, what about you, Terrell? Sorry. Now, it sound like it sound like at first it sounded like Roy uh, when he does when he's doing his uh, dancing sword. <laughs> well, you're a whole bunch of damn fanboys right now <laughs> on your damn Nintendo consoles. Did you see my collection, dog? You know I got PlayStation and Sega stuff and a PC. Uh, I haven't seen it, but anyway. What about you, Terrell? <laughs> I give no fucks about your statement. Continue. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, they may, they may be cool. But like, there's, there's not really too much to say. I mean, I, I, I probably get it. Just, just it's like I have I already have Fox and Falco. You can't not get like Crystal or Peppy or Wolf or Slippy. Like, it'd be legit as hell. I mean, it, it, it's a gold mine. It's like we we've never gotten figures of like Fox McCloud before. You know, there's one there's one thing I want them to do though. I want an Andros Amiibo, but I don't want like. I want the SNES Andros Amiibo. Wow. <laughs> I want the mask. What about you, Shep? What was the question again? About you, Star Fox like, Amiibo? I blacked out. What were you talking about? Do you think they're going to make uh, a transforming R-Wing Amiibo? Or oh, I heard Amiibo? that question. I, we're still on that one. Okay. Um... I don't think they're going to do something that elaborate. I hope they do, personally, because I will pick that shit up immediately. But I, I know they'll do some type of Star Fox-related Amiibo to help promote the game. Yeah. But I'm not sure what they're going to actually do. And I, I'm, I can't even begin to guess at the moment. I'll have to think about that one, honestly. People will lose their mind they made a Crystal Amiibo. <laughs> well, let me ask you guys this, and this is sort of related. Amiibo so is so successful... Since they have been so successful and still continue to be, do you think they would ever do any type of console amiibo? You mean like an like, amiibo of like a like a game or like, like, like a SNES or the controller or the 64 or the original? Like, would they expect like little amiibos with like little you know iconic consoles? Yeah, I don't really see the point in that unless it was supposed to add like a really weird retro feel to like a yeah. game or something. No, I think I think they would do it just for collectors' purposes in this case. Oh, yeah, maybe like on an anniversary or something, perhaps. I don't. I can, know, I can I see don't the Virtual know. Boy one still. I, I I I don't know if they'll actually do that though. I pick up a Virtual Boy just because. <laughs> virtual Boy is life. Oh, well, Andrew Tartilla actually has a question. He says, Xenoblade Chronicles X is supposed to get additional content at some point, isn't it? Do you think they'll up the level cap from 60. My answer to that is, no, they're not going to increase the level cap because you can already take out bosses twice your level if you have the right augments. Yeah, you I really don't need it to be higher. I, I actually watched a four-minute video of a dude fighting um, at level 71 Eternal Milosaur on Primordia, and basically he was on foot with one character, not four, one, and he was doing about two to three million hit points of damage every combo, and this thing had 100 million hit points. He took it out in four minutes. So that tells you a lot right there. And he took virtually no damage. Once you get those um, those augments and you set your um, your arts up in a specific way, you're almost invincible in that game. Yep. Anybody else? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> 
content, I think they'll basically add, like, maybe... Well, we already got the DLC for free versus what Japan had to pay for. But we don't have the boob slider, man. No, no, look, I think, listen, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna say I'm not annoyed by that, but it's not it didn't make it didn't change the game for me, all right? You know, but it would change the game for me. No, what, it, what it would change a lot for you. It would also change how wet you were how, how much lotion you've had near you while playing that. <laughs> no, I think what, what I think they're gonna do, I think they're gonna add extra content, but I think it's gonna be like um like uh maybe some new companions, maybe some uh some new, uh, like, some epilogue type stuff, maybe a little bit more, uh, what I'm looking for. Um, maybe some new, like, little mini, like, tying up side quests, stuff like that. Like, nothing really, like, 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 I don't think, that, I don't think they'll be adding that type of stuff. Like, they, they, they probably will not re-add the boob slider. Sorry, sorry, y'all. Sorry, folks. Can I at least get a butt slider, then? Well, no. <laughs> the Japanese fandom, not the Americans. I don't think anyone wants a butt slider. Bullshit. <laughs> <sighs> and that's the like like for like you, folks. I feel like we walked past a, a part that we should have just stopped at. The, there was a forbidden <laughs> line, and we like stomped on it, and then sprinted another like two hey, miles in the opposite direction. I don't believe in lines. Lines are for the weak. Well, yeah, well, we're clearly not weak, apparently. We're too damn strong for our own goods. It, it, it sounds like Terrell is like calling somebody out that's not on his podcast. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Which means he is. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, now he's now it's a bitch move. He's he's afraid the person will find out. What are you, what are you talking about? I ain't saying anything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on right now. That's all I'm saying. I'm well, just playing a video game, so don't mind me. Well, I'm gonna ask a dumb question now, and then we can probably um end this podcast. But any does anyone plan on actually watching the Super Bowl, playing games during the Super Bowl, or just playing games? I didn't even know the Super Bowl was on until you mentioned it. I'm I'm gonna be doing what I usually do, playing video games. Oh, so you, yeah. you, wanna, you so you honestly don't give a shit about the big game? No, I, I do not. Uh, same here, dude. I, I'm the same way. You know, fuck football. But <laughs> anyway, anyone oh, else? Shit. Wow. See, I don't know why you just talked about America's favorite ripoff of rugby, but um, it's, hey, I, 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 I won't tell you, All I did was tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's all I did, man. Well, um, I am a trini, so I look for any excuse to party. But this time around, yeah, I ain't doing a damn thing. But that's what the Super Bowl usually is for me. Unless the Patriots in it, then I'm cheering it on. Because everybody hates the everybody hates the Patriots, so plus I'm from Boston originally, so I love being cheering on the team that everybody hates. Because I'm evil like that. What? They couldn't shut down uh Manny. Yeah, one time. Twice maybe. I don't care. I wanted to see the Patriots make it to the Super Bowl just so that Cam Newton could dab all over Tom Brady. <laughs> NFL Chula has a. I'm not sure. I don't know who that person is, so I'm guessing that's the the quarterback of or linebacker or I don't he's know. The, I'm I'm he's the quarterback of the seventeen and one uh, Panthers. <laughs> oh, North Carolina Panthers. Yeah, it's Cam Newton. I'm surprised you know about these things. Dude, I have a man card. That means I got to know about football. Oh, oh shit. Um, <laughs> the salt has been thrown. The shade is blocking. Did this, did this, did this, did this, did he just say what he just, okay, you know what? He said he had a man card, so he's calling you a straight bitch. No. Well, you see, uh, well, I, I will point out. I'll point out to him a true man. A true man does not need to walk around with a card to prove he is a man. So um, oh, that's some fake yeah. shit that, that people brought about. So um, 
That's why I'm yeah. like, did this, did this big bastard just try to use the man card <laughs> argument? I'm like, dude. And no, no, and, get and, out of and, here with that nonsense. And, and meanwhile, and meanwhile, the the, the three the other three people in the podcast are just sitting back like bitches, myself included. Even if, even if you don't like football, you have to know, you have to basically be like, okay, man, what's that over there? Like you have to like it's, just, it's the rules. I didn't make them. That's just the rules. That's the high no, see, so, okay, let me let me teach you something about alphas. Hold on, hold see, on, hold an, on, an alpha, on, an alpha on, does not on, pass oh, go ahead. experience. Pass interference. All right, now you can go. What the fuck? Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Oh, he he you're playing Mario Maker. I'm not playing Mario Maker. I thought when he said that, I thought he ended the podcast. Apparently not. I'm looking, I was confused. I'm not looking. I'm not playing Mario Maker. I'm looking up through. I'm looking through social media, see what's going on. Social media, huh? You know, no, most, people just say, most folks just say Facebook, Google Plus. You said social media. You hide yes, some shit. Yes, Facebook, we, we, we want to investigate Google that. Plus, Twitter, Instagram. No, no, we know the truth. He's he's on he's on Reddit right now, and he's on Tumblr looking for inappropriate pictures of Chun Li. Yeah, man. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. That's anyway. my girl. What can I say? Hey, anyway, we won't talk about who has a man card or who's really a man. You know, we're all a bunch of pussies in here, to be honest. Compared, Contra you know, 3 will make a man out of you. <laughs> I don't think anyone... Yeah, so meanwhile, this. back on Earth, our heroes realize that people are a little too delusional for their own good. Continue, Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> well, we're, we're ending with this. Uh, Anderson Archilla has a question. He says, so with the Nintendo slash Universal Studios partnership, and also Dragon Quest getting an attraction here. I didn't know that. Um, who's going to spend more time or actually return to those parks? Man, I've never been, so... Yeah, I've never been. I've never been, so I'll, I'll probably check it yeah. out out of curiosity. Yeah, I, I did. I'll, there's one thing they must do for this park to be successful. If they do this one thing, it will be successful for a decade. Just create a Mario Park racetrack. Mario Kart, that's all you need. Put little plushy turtle shells on the ground or whatever you want to do. But if you make a Mario if you make a Mario Kart theme, you know, go kart track. They would make too much money and they would piss off too many people because that would be the only attraction I'd go to and I'd stay there all day. <laughs> and I'm not the I know I'm not the only one. I think uh, that's, they could, I don't I think they'll at least do a uh, bumper car kind of um, thing. Mark. Like about like the battle mode. <clears throat> like if they, if they do that, man, I'm saying it's all they have to do. They can shit on all the other franchises. If they make a Mario Kart, it's done. It's done. That is gonna be a billion dollars a year, hands down. You know what? And I actually think they're they're moving towards it with uh, with all the stuff they've been talking about. I think that uh, I think that they're gonna have Nintendo World Stars at the Universal Studios. So I think they're going to have little attractions. They're like, hey, you like, you like this attraction? If you want to buy the game, the Nintendo World Store is right outside um, the exit of the drive. You can go over there and you can buy your Pokemon. Game. Anyways, guys, I got to go. Y'all have a great day. We're about to have to close up right now so you can give your sign up if you want to. Oh, um, no game is a large podcast because the Super Bowl. Um, that's bullshit. That's about it. Okay. Peace. <laughs> All right. Well, well, some of us actually watch the Super Bowl. Not really me, but the rest of us do. Yeah, but we do I, have manly men in the game as a large. So yeah. We'll present, your, we'll present your man card. Oh, I forgot. I don't give a oh. damn about a man card. That, that's some <laughs> fake BS that somebody made up about a decade ago. <laughs> and next up, the man with the man card. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, this is uh, Mr. Red Fox. Yes, I will be watching Cam Newton dab all over Peyton Manning's incredibly large forehead uh, tomorrow. <laughs> um, and it's going to be hilarious and fun. Uh, I'll be eating buffalo wings and fries and baby back ribs slathered in sauce. Uh, oh, that's how, oh, yeah, my son now. Um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow. Yeah, also my birthday, which sucks, but whatever. Peace. Oh. All right.
Next up will be uh, KH Anime. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one and only KH Anime, keeping it short and sweet, keeping it calm and gaming on. You got anything you want to promote, man, as well? Oh, yeah. Besides your lame ass Smash Brothers gameplay? No, nah, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> Man, I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't play Smash Bros. competitively. I don't play, it's not like Street Fighter. Street Fighter, I do competitively. Smash you know, Bros. is different. Well, what's ironic is even Sakurai says Smash Bros. was not meant to be played competitively. Nope. Party, you said that. The party game. But yeah, so you know, pretty much, uh, my go ahead and say that that is a shot to all the competitive assholes out there. You know, kiss my ass, but move on. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow my channel. Uh, just some various gameplay footage. Uh, trying to trying to uh, make a spot for myself on YouTube. I'm start. Uh, it's all about hard work, and I'm consistently uploading videos about every day as we speak. So, so subscribing helps a lot. <clears throat> and thanks for all your support. And next up would be the infamous insane game freak. Yo, it's been a good podcast. A lot of interesting things have happened today. That's that's cool. Um, I probably after I, after this is over, I'll probably record some anime episode reviews for uh, Dora and need to record some other stuff too. So, uh, other than that, you know, uh, like I always say, life's a game. Play to win. And I'm your host, Dr. Feel Good. I want to thank all my viewers for tu- tuning in. Shout out to all you guys. Appreciate it. And I'm not going to give you really any of my old quotes. I would just simply say, you know, keep it gaming and um, fuck YouTube. <laughs> I don't. What? <laughs> <laughs> fuck